Good morning, everybody. It's finally a beautiful day again today, but I just looked outside and this is what I saw. It was super windy last night. I mean, really, really windy. And apparently my cold frame came apart just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to fix that today. But as I go through here and I'll let me remove this piece of PVC so that I can put it back in a minute. As I go through here and I lift the plastic up and fix it, guess who gets a peek at what's underneath? You do. So forgive the poor quality video. I am just um, holding on to this with my cell phone, but here we go. Here it is. And it's light in my cold frame this morning after a super, super windy night where pretty much most of this fell apart. Now you can see, you know, some of the stuff that's less cold hardy is less happy. I'm certainly glad that it warmed up above freezing because I guarantee that at least some of this got a bit wet last night in the wind and in the rain. So there's your sneak peek at my outdoor cactus bed. And now I get to put this back together. Okay, I ended up removing the plastic completely. And then up here, I took that bar off that was holding the plastic behind it so that I could rearrange this a completely different way. Now, when I built this originally, I just had put the one bolt in the middle to hold that bar on, mostly because well, I was a slacker. I should have put all three on. This time I put all three bolts holding that on. And actually, I never actually have to remove that again. So what I'm going to do now is put back the PVC rails and try to put my side walls back together. Um, they were kind of iffy to start with. The problem is I don't have a piece of plastic that's actually wide enough to go over the whole thing to the ground on both sides. And I think that that was really what caused the failure in the first place of this thing. So there you have it. And in a few minutes, I will give you another update. Well, sometimes you have to be innovative if you can't go anywhere to do anything. So what I've done and what I'm doing to connect my sidewalls is I made a needle out of some paddle wire, attached it to some twine. And if you look down here at the one I've already done, I basically just sewed the plastic onto the PVC. It has been so windy. I mean, it doesn't show it right the second, of course, but we keep getting these huge gusts of wind that blow my plastic all over the place and that are making me rebuilding this quite difficult. But, you know, that's how things go. So now I'm going to try to sew up this other side wall. It's easiest to line up everything when the um, PVC pipe is in place. So I'm going to try to do it upright, but the wind is probably going to fight me every second. Okay, so I have finally completed the side walls. I used the same sidewall plastic as before. I mean, I don't have any other supplies at all. I'm actually at home in COVID quarantine, so I don't even have any options for doing anything else but kind of MacGyvering it together and hoping for the best. Now I did a couple of things differently this time. Um, on this side, the spacing is about the same. I weighted it down with a couple of cement blocks and it's about the same as it was before. But over on this side, the plastic used to come down on the inside of that railing, which I had thought, you know, was better. It's an odd shape, that corner, which makes it hard to fit properly. But this time I've decided to bring the plastic down on the outside of the railing. Over here, I'll probably staple it in place later on to hold it down. 
so now that I've got that part done, it's time to put my plastic PVC rails back up in the middle. I still am going to stick to only three. Um, it did okay during that crazy snow that we had. Um, you probably saw pictures of it caved in. If not, I'll put one right up here. But it came right back after the snow came off. I don't think I actually need two more and I don't really feel like pounding two more pieces of rebar into the ground. That could come back to bite me later, I know. All right, another update in a few. Okay, so I'm finished with my task and it was a giant pain in the rear. The wind kept blowing, my plastic everywhere, and well, that's never any fun. However, I did learn quite a few things about how I had set this up before, and we'll make a few changes next year when I redo this. Not only the part where I replace my greenhouse plastic because there's so many holes in it, and but other things as well need to be changed. One thing I learned is of course that this stitching method that I used on the sidewalls, I think that that is really smart. Well, we'll only find out as time goes on, but I think that that's gonna really help. Um, it might be something that I should have done like right here on the outside as well. Um, I may go back and do that but I didn't do it because the idea is to have as few holes in the top of this plastic as possible. I mean, the idea for this cold frame wasn't necessarily to keep everything warm and prevent freezing. I knew that the freezing temperatures were gonna cause a few things to die, but I wanted my cold hardy stuff to thrive and to stay dry all winter, really, if I can keep those cactuses dry and they will do quite well, but they will rot if I let them get wet. I mean, if you look around, this is my yard right now. Delaware has some pretty wet, gross winters. So with this amount of water just laying around, I wanted to make sure that my cactuses were protected from a wet freeze, if nothing else. I may go ahead and use all of the PVC next year. It really depends on what happens snow-wise this year. Um, we'll just see how it goes. The other thing I did differently than before is, like I said, I put this plastic on the outside of the railing earlier. Now that it's on the inside, there are some other benefits to that. Um, one of them being that I don't need this table to block the wind. One of the things that was a problem with this, I believe, is that by having the plastic on the inside of here, as I may have a picture to show, or I may not, allowed a lot of wind to get up under the greenhouse cover. And I think that wind that got under there was one reason for the failure. Like I said, wind was the problem here, not really anything else. Well, other than the fact that I didn't do as good a job as I thought of putting this thing together to start with. But time will tell if this works out better. And well, I hope you enjoyed my, your sneak peek as to what was underneath. More next time. Bye.